Alright guys, in today's video, we are going to create a simple slideshow animation in DaVinci Resolve. So let's take a look at the preview and get started. First thing we'll do is go to settings and make sure the timeline frame rate is set to 30 and playback frame rate is set to 30 as well and then click on save then in the effects you'll find the fusion composition just drag it onto the timeline so by default the duration of this fusion composition will be five seconds long which is exactly what we need then we're going to drag in two pictures that we'll be using for our animation so i'm going to use these two pictures and just drag it inside uh, resolve so once you do that, then you can go to Fusion page and here you have your media out. So I'm going to right click on the flow and set the arrange tools to create. I'm going to move the media out on the right. So the first thing we'll do is go to media pool and drag in our first image or the first slideshow, which is this image right here. Let's exit out of the media pool by clicking on this icon. Now let's drag in this media in and see it on the viewer. All right, so this is our image and as you can see the size of this image is too big so we want this to be 1920 by 1080 and the way we do that is by dragging the background node so drag it into the flow and if you check out this background node it's 1920 by 1080 so we have to connect the media in with the background node which will result in another merge node so if you view this merge node it will be 1920 by 1080 and also our image will be restrained within this size and let's move this media in over here and i'm going to hit shift spacebar and add a transform node to this so search for xf and you'll see the transform and then click on add we'll use this transform one to resize our image so i'm going to scale this down so we don't we don't make sure that we don't have these black edges so i'm going to scale this up like that and then we're going to add another transform node and this transform tool will create our will use this transform tool to create our animation so what we're going to do is we will create a keyframe so make sure your playhead is at the very first frame create a keyframe on size and then go to the very end of your animation and then set this to 1.2 so we'll have a simple zoom in animation and now we'll create another animation on the same transform two node so let's create a keyframe on center x and y and here we want to change the position so i'm going to move this to the right i want this image to appear from right to left so i'm going to move it away from the screen and then go to 60th frame and then i'm going to make sure it's at 0 0.5 so type in 0 0.5 and then i'll go to 90th frame create the same keyframe so you can just click on this diamond icon to create the same keyframe and let's move to the end of our animation and i want to move it to the left like this so let's go to the spline and see all of the keyframes all of the position keyframes so i'm going to click on the displacement and then i'm going to click on this icon that says zoom to fit and i'm going to select these two keyframes hit s on the keyboard then hit the t key on the keyboard you'll get the ease in and ease out values i'm going to set the ease in to 100 and do the same thing with these two keyframes as well hit s and then ease in to 100. all right so let's take a look at this animation one more time all right so now our background is set to black so i'm going to change it to white so our background is now white you can change it to any color that you want and now what we can do is add in some text so let's drag in our text plus node over here and uh, let's type in our text so let's just connect this two together and view this merge tool over here and just type in our text so let's type in slideshow and to see our text we have to make sure that um, the text in is coming in as a foreground so right now it's coming in as a background that is why we are not able to see the text so hit select the merge to node hit ctrl t on the keyboard to swap the background with the foreground and you'll see your text now so let's select the text tool and here's our text so we can make changes change the font style font weight change the size and all that stuff and i'm going to change its color as well 
okay so you can just use any color that you want and you can place it wherever you want and i'm going to right click on it and add a follower to this so let's go to the top and see the tools and the modifiers over here so i'm going to click on modifiers and i'm going to set the delay to about one and set the order to random but one by one and then i'm going to go to shading and i will animate the opacity over here so i'm going to go to maybe about 30 frames and create a keyframe on opacity set it to zero and then go to 60th frame and set this to one and i'm also going to animate the position so expand the position create a keyframe so let's move to 30th frame then create a keyframe on offset x y and this will come this part two will appear you don't have to do anything let's go back to follower one and let's move to 60th frame and i'm going to create the same keyframe over here let's go back to the previous keyframe which is at the 30th frame and change its y position right so maybe around negative 0.3 so if you play this it's going to look something like that all right so i'm going to go to spline and i'm going to select the text one and uh, all these keyframes and hit this icon zoom to fit select all the keyframes hit s and then ease it in all right so let's take a look and now it's going to look something like that all right so we are almost done with our first slideshow let's uh, connect this merge tool with media out and uh, yeah that's that looks great so now what you can do is go back to our edit page and here's your fusion one comp so now you have to create a copy of this hold the alt key on the keyboard and just drag it in uh, to the top so you'll have another video track and now i'm going to go to three second in the timeline and i'm going to move my fusion second fusion composition to that position and now you can select your second fusion comp and go to the fusion page and here we have our media in one we'll go to media pool and replace it with our second image so just drag and drop on this node and it will ask you to replace it and click on ok so let's go to transform select it and i'm going to go to like 70th frame and see if i can still resize it so if i just scale it down you can see we can still resize it a bit more so i'm going to do that and let's go to the very first frame and make sure our image is not visible in this frame which it is not also we will exit out of this media pool and let's play this animation and see if it looks good or not okay so yeah it looks good yeah now we can go to background and set its color to transparent so i'm gonna set this to black and move this alpha slider to the top so now it's transparent you can select the text node over here and change it to change your text to something else change the font um, and you can just change its position if you want um, size and all that stuff and uh, yeah so you can go back to your edit page and you will have this nice transition from one slide to another so yeah here we have our animation okay so i also forgot to animate the text this the first text the slideshow so if you go back to our fusion page and uh, fusion tab after the text one we will add a transform node click on add and i'm going to move to the 90th frame create a keyframe on center x and y go to the very last frame and change the position and move it to the left like that now if you go to spline uh, you select just the transform three keyframe select zoom to fit select all the keyframes hit s and just ease it in and then if you go back it's going to look much better in your final animation so let's take a look yeah and there you have it so then you can just continue uh, adding your more slides and changing different uh, directions so you played with uh, i think the x direction only you went horizontally you can also go vertically as well try to change the directions and you know try to animate a different uh, follower 
uh, values so you can get a different animation so i hope this video is helpful i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one